Hello everyone, in this video I would like to quickly show how to put your own custom contact instruments on Machina Plus. This is actually a really simple procedure, but first let's have a quick look also how to um, yeah, look at an example instrument and how we, how we would be putting this instrument on the Plus and how it's kind of a little bit optimized to work well on the Plus. So this instrument basically has a bunch of drones recorded from Eurorack. If we go inside the group editor we see we have uh, 58 groups, so 58 uh, different sounds, and this is just my instrument, right? You can do any any other instrument, of course, but just to show that, like, um, the concept of that I have over here. Um, and then there are a few knobs that are set up inside instruments. I set it up with KSP script, um, but you can also manually um, set up your automations by dragging them to whatever controls and contact that you would like. But to mention that this is probably an important step, right? You probably would want to have a few um, knobs that are automatable so that you can kind of play around with your instrument and not just play the sounds. Again, if you just want to play the sounds, that's also fine. You don't need to uh, assign any host automations. But just to say that, right, since you don't have a GUI representation as you would normally on desktop, the only way to kind of interact with the instrument would be if you assign automation parameters. And then, of course, you can interact with whatever you have assigned. So that's just kind of to show that that's what I've done over here. As you can see, there is no GUI. There's nothing really fancy going on. Um, and inside the instrument itself, uh, just to mention that I've put all the groups on DFD. Uh, of course, you don't have to do that. Uh, there's, of course, the, the performance uh, memory trade-off between DFD and sampler groups. But as you can see, by putting all the groups on DFD, even though I have quite a lot inside here, um, as you can see in the mapping, there's yeah there's a bunch of just still a bunch of sounds pretty long samples inside and the whole instrument only loads 3.3 megabytes into memory so it's not it doesn't have big memory footprint so maybe worth to mention to put everything on dfd and uh, again concerning the whole memory footprint and the performance um, just to mention so that uh, on the machina plus itself um, the samples the, the the engine sorry of the machina plus itself is 44k uh, and 16 uh, 44k sample rate and 16 uh, bits bit rate so it doesn't really make sense to have your samples at anything more than that so 24 bit or 96 kilohertz it's just going to take up way more space and way more memory and in, in the end the engine is going to render it in 44k 16 anyways so it's better to prepare your samples in um, 44k 16. And the second thing is when you save your instrument, you all, you have the option, the, the save options of the instrument. So if we go inside over here, the thing that you do need to save it as is patch plus samples. So that's just the way that Machina Plus needs it to be saved. You cannot save a monolith. Um, and obviously patch only won't work because you need the samples as well. So patch plus samples. And another tip is of course, please, yeah, compress your samples and then they will go into the uh, native instruments proprietary uh, NCW format, which will further decrease the, the file size that they will be on disk. So in the end, you end up with a, um, as compact as possible instrument. And and yeah, it's just going to be the most performant and the least um, both um, footprint on your SD ca card for storage and the least um, memory storage. So once you have all that, uh, there is one thing still that's super important to make sure. So if I go here to my contact, my current version is 6.6.0 and the versions of the desktop application that you save, you save your instrument in and the version that is on Machina Plus need to be the same. So on Machina Plus, if you go into your um, settings into the library tab, on Machina Plus itself, and you can go on to the uh, installed products, you can see the, the version of contact that is installed. So just make sure that you have a so the, the version on Machina uh, Plus needs to be either newer or the same as the version you're kind of dragging a desktop instrument uh, to. Usually it would be the same if they are um, concurrent releases by native instruments. Uh, so if the release for Machina Plus, like if they release for desktop and Machina Plus at the same time, then they would be the same versions, but just to make sure or else it just uh, wouldn't load. There would be a version discrepancy. So. Uh, once you kind of made sure of all that, you saved your instrument, and yeah, the last step is really actually super simple. I could have just shown that in the video, and the video would have been five seconds, but I just wanted to give a little bit extra. So here it's already placed where it should be, um, but just to show that um, on your Machina Plus, you go into your settings, uh, you scroll over to the actual um, settings where you can 
click on the on one of the buttons over there it's super simple in the settings to enter the storage mode for your SD card and once it kind of shows up on your computer you go into the native instruments folder um, notice you don't go into the contact folder this could be a tiny bit misleading what where you go to is the machina 2 sounds folder and this is where you'd place your entire contact instrument so you would take the entire folder so the the NKI and the samples uh, it would be like this like the outer folder it's already here on, on this machine plus and you just drag it over um, in here and yeah this one is I guess this yeah dirty aerobic drone that's already over here and then the last thing you need to do is disconnect your storage from, you can do it from the unit itself and once you do that you just rescan your library and it, it would show as user content in your library and you can just load uh, whatever you have in here as you noticed I have already tons of stuff of, of my own in here it's super super simple and super fun to use it so have a go